is Eric Jackson. In case you didn't know already, you can find a lot of great fishing, whether it's moving water or even white water. But before you get out on moving and white water, you need to make sure you've got a few tips that are going to get you down right side up safely and feel like you're in control. This moving water skill is called the peel out. The peel out's where you go from the slack water into the moving water and head downstream. Now the faster the current is, or the faster the current differential, otherwise known as the eddy line is, the more important it is to know the right, the right technique. Otherwise you might find yourself swimming. All right, here's the key. Key is to determine what angle you want to exit the eddy line at to allow the current to turn you downstream and place you in the part of the river you want to get to. The moment of truth, that is when the boat in your rear end crosses the eddy line. At that point, if you don't have some downstream weight and some downstream lean of the boat, the current's going to push you to the side, try to push your boat out from under you, load up that upstream edge with water, and flip you in the river. Now, when you do some nice, easy, super slow moving, moving water eddy outs and peel outs, it's not going to be a big deal. The first time you hit one that has a lot of speed to it, you're going to find it's a real big deal. How are you going to know it's a big deal? Because you'll be swimming. So make sure you do these things. Pick an angle, usually around 45 degrees is a good angle to cross the eddy line, and that's relative to the, to, to the eddy line or the oncoming current. And then number two, make sure when your rear end crosses the eddy line, you've got some downstream lean. Just think about pushing your downstream butt cheek onto the seat and leaning the boat slightly downstream. That's gonna keep you from flipping upstream.